mistakes that VC can make because after all, VCs are people. Mm. We are not gods or anything like that. But I think the out of the top, all the mistakes, I think number one would be to tell founders that, oh, I'm seeing this other company is doing this and that and that, <laughs> like doing a comparison, like right on, right in the first meeting. Mm. And, and make I, them like not feel anymore interesting yeah, like you know founders are people right yeah. they're proud of their work mm. and every company is different so maybe they're in the same industry they're doing the same stuff but asking them that question on the first meeting is like oh this guy doing better than you I should be talking to that guy why you so a, a lot of other take offense mm. in that right and you, you're not you, you're talking to me just because you want to compare me with the other guy then mm. I'm out of here. <laughs> right? So so it's a, it's a human it's a human nature, right? Mm. Nobody want nobody like to be mm. compared with other folks, especially in the first meeting. Mm. The second is you know, uh, over promise, you know, in, in the sense that, you know, like the, and this happened a lot during the DT process, right? Uh, younger VC would come in and do very aggressive due diligence and they would tell about all these things like, oh, let me just convince a partner, this is a done deal, this is etc. etc. But again, like I said, no deal is done until money in the bank. So even after the term sheet is signed, everything is signed, or the contract is signed, the investor can still walk away, or the company can still walk away. So so nothing is done. So don't don't over promise or don't under promise. Just make sure that you be truthful to, to the company that you're dealing with, to the founder you're dealing with, and just make sure that they understand where you are in terms of running through the deal so that so that they don't have any false pretense or expectation. Um, I made the same mistake before, so, so I know founders hate that. Mm. They're trying to raise money for the company and you're giving them false hope mm. or you're giving them like false signals. That's never a good thing. And finally, I think it's the just um, sorry, there's just too many mistakes. So I think finally, I think it's just younger VCs um, not being able to elaborate about deal that's especially to to their own internal right. What I mean by that is, let's say for example, I, I find a deal I really like, and I really want to convince them to invest, but then when, through the process of preparing the documents or programs of preparing the pitch to the investment committee. I didn't prepare it well. Then when I when I go pitch it to the investment committee, they don't get it and they pass on it. And so you know that that's a waste. You know, all the effort or resources you put in for let's say how many weeks or a month all wasted because you couldn't do your own final lap. Mm -hmm. like you, you can you can get to the finish line. So so that I think the third mistake is something that's more of a Professional mistake, mm -hmm. but something that have to that happened a lot. Yeah. It happened to me okay. many times. So, so that was more on the professional, like readiness part, mm -hmm. of course. But it's also something that need to be worked on over time. It's so lack of preparation. I can see that in the, in the final yeah. round. So, what will be your average advice for somebody? Uh, should somebody spend hour? How many average hour they should spend before presenting the final pitching committee? Uh, as many hours as you as you feel ready, okay. which again nobody's gonna nobody gonna be hundred percent ready. Yeah, but because they will have some really sneaky question in the end of the day. <laughs> that, well, so I mean, just prepare as much as possible. Mm. If there's a deadline, then just prepare all the way up to the deadline. Like for example, if, if I see give me two days to prepare for the material, then I take the whole two days and prepare to the full stay. Uh, if they give me five days for five days. The point is just do your best uh, and then see what happens.